Nerds need Jesus Christ too. Nerds need the Lord Jesus Christ too. How about getting excited over the God of the Bible, people? How about making some time in your life to know the God of the Bible? You guys have flown in to San Diego. You drove in to San Diego. But you can't go 15, 20 minutes to a local church. What's wrong with that picture? What's wrong with that picture, people? You want to go to heaven, you need to get born again, as the Bible says. Going to church, trying to be a good person, is not going to cut you and allow you into God's heaven. As a matter of fact, the Bible says most people will go to hell. We don't want you to go to hell. There's no purgatory. Uh, there's no reincarnation. You're going to die and meet the God of the Bible. Because you and I are going to die one day. The million dollar question is, where is God going to send you? And He only sends you there because you chose that place. You chose either heaven or hell. And just like this wonderful country has borders, and just like this wonderful country doesn't allow everyone to come inside of our country, God does the same thing. Not everybody goes to heaven. Don't think everybody is God's child. That's a lie. Not everybody is a child of God. The Bible makes it very clear. Read Bible for details. Know the God of the Bible. Once again, San Diego, what are you going to do when you die? The Bible says it is appointed unto man once to die, and after this the judgment. Hey, you might get drunk, died by some drunken nerd on the freeway. You might die by some gang member missing his target and putting a bullet in your head. You might die of a heart attack. There's no guarantee you're going to make it home today. Which is why God in His great wisdom and genius is having us come to try to snap you out of your sleeper. The real heroes are found in the Bible. Don't forget to pray for those pizzas. Don't take advantage of God's love and mercy. The real heroes never wore a cape. The real heroes never wore a mask. The real heroes never flew in the sky. The real heroes love the God of the Bible and were persecuted and killed for their faith. They were killed with people like you who despise God. God demands holiness, people. You want repentance for your sin? You do need to repent for that sin. Time to know the God of the Bible. God didn't make you a nerd. You chose to be a nerd. God didn't make you a drunkard. You chose to be a drunkard. God didn't make a homosexual. You chose that. Time for you guys to read the Bible. And to show you how wacko you guys are, I've even heard you watch cartoon pornography. That's how wacko you guys are. You watch cartoon pornography. Oh, I'm in the right location. I'm in the right. You're either taking antidepressant drugs, which most of you are, or you've been smoking marijuana. And how many of you live at home with mama in the basement? Huh? You're 35 years old and you'll still live at home with mama. Oh, the trailer park is empty today. Oh, the trailer park is empty today. Look at you people. You've lost your mind. 
A Jesus can make you normal just like me. See how normal I am? He can make you normal just like me. A nerd needs Jesus Christ too. A nerd needs to cry out to God too. You guys are bored, look at you. You're walking around like a bunch of zombies. You have no idea what's going on. Bible, 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 you're supposed to judge. How can you say judge not? We have a jury, we have a judge, we have an election. You either vote for this candidate or that candidate. That's judging, you're supposed to judge. And judging by you people, something tells me you didn't vote for President Trump. Something tell, There's something about this particular group that tells me you voted for Obama. You voted for Obama. You guys have lost your mind. If I hear you voted for Obama one more time, we're going to pack up and walk away right now. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad you can hear me over there. That's called a sound check. Thank you very much for that sound check. So how does somebody get to heaven? Jesus made it very clear, except the man be born again, he could not inherit the kingdom of God. That's how you go to heaven. Nothing personal, take it as a group. God demands everyone to be born again. Obey God, honor God, love God, walk with God. Details in the Bible. You know that black book? Black book, gold trim, red letters. You guys are more inspired by a comic book than you are the Bible. Where's all those Christians that go to church on Sunday? Where are all those Christians that go to church on Sunday? This is what you do on a Saturday. You better pray to God that Jesus doesn't return on a Saturday. You're going to be caught off guard. You guys are just playing games with God. God doesn't want you just for one hour. The God of the Bible wants your entire mind, body, and soul. That's the God of the Bible, people. Heaven or hell when you die, pit straight ahead. That's the pit over there. Keep walking blind. The pit is straight ahead. Prop, plop, prop. That's what happens. You guys are not glorifying God. Uh, what, what Christian would be walking in there knowing that some of these comic heroes, some of these mu uh, movies of these uh, superheroes are now homosexual. Oh, that's about as wicked as it gets. No, you gotta have a homosexual superhero. You guys have lost your mind. You guys have lost your mind. You either have male or female, that's it. There is no uh, a homosexual gene. That's like saying there's a murder gene. There's a lion gene. There's a rape gene. No, you chose that lifestyle. You need to love God, not me. You need to love God. Jesus said if you love him, you will obey him. Jesus didn't say, if you love him, go to church. Jesus didn't say, if you love him, sing a song. But Jesus didn't say, if you love him, give money to some TV evangelist. Jesus Christ said, if you love him, you will obey him. Nothing complicated. Time to read the Bible. Most of you actually grew up with a little bit of religion. Most of you went to church on Sunday. And now look at you. And now look at what you're doing. You turn your back on God. You quench the Holy Ghost. You denied Jesus Christ numerous times. Time to read the Bible, San Diego.